Welcome to the iPad Apps First Look channel and today we're going to look at the Safari browser properties for Do Not Track. If you don't want Safari browser on your iPhone to actually um, track your every move, then there's a very interesting privacy option that you can check for. So most of us are using Safari on iPad and iPhone because it's the default browser and frankly it actually works quite well and also um, if you sync with iCloud well you know all your favorites and all your stuff that you check on Safari on your iPad iPhone are also available on your Mac or PC so um, go into the settings and then go into uh, simply go down up to Safari itself it's right here in the uh, second or third well fourth actually um, option so just check Safari when you are in Safari um, you'll go down and first uh, a few options that you might want to check make sure that your search engine is the, the right one uh, mine was set at Yahoo by default I want Google uh, maybe another option you want to make sure that is on is block pop-ups and uh, here you see do not track mine was turned off by default but apparently on some phones depending on what apps you have installed it can be turned on so uh, make sure that um, it is on when you don't want to be tracked um, as you see here by default it's off it means that every website you go to will be able to track where you are so by putting the do not track it means that your location won't be sent to any website that you are uh, actually using. Another um, thing that you can do if you want to have more of that privacy and make sure nobody tracks your every move is clear history and website data. This will enable uh, your browser to basically uh, remove every little detail so if you went uh, online banking with Safari on your iPad or iPhone then you know that you can clear the data by going here on clear history and website data so do not track make sure it's on if you don't want any website to actually um, track you where you are while you are surfing the web with your Safari browser on your iPhone or iPad if you have any comments or questions, please let us know. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. And if you uh, have any iPad, iPhone apps that you'd like us to review, let us know. Maybe an option, maybe something you'd like us to talk about on the uh, iPhone or iPad in iOS 8. Uh, we'll also take a peek at that. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.